Welcome to this lesson on exponential functions transformations. So remember our parent function is the simplest form of a function. For an exponential function, the parent growth function is f of x equals a 2 to the x power. And the parent decay function is f of x equals 1 half to the x power. And a transformation is just moving or changing those parent functions. All right, so let's look at the transformations below. And remember, C stands for any constant, so any number that doesn't have a variable. All right, so if you want to move a exponential function up, then you add to the end of the function. So 2 to the x power plus C. In the example, 2 to the x power plus 2, that's going to move it up 2. That whole function will move up 2. And then to move a function down, you subtract at the end. So this will move this exponential function down 1. Now remember, this is just the parent function. And the only difference between these two is this is a growth and this is a decay. But the transformations still apply the same way. If you want to move an exponential function right, you subtract from the exponent x. So it's a little bit backwards. You think right would be adding, but it's actually subtracting. So here I would move right 5. And then left, you add to the exponent. So here I would move left 8. All right, a vertical stretch is where you multiply the function by a number greater than 1. So here... I'm multiplying by 3, it would have a vertical stretch of 3. And what that means is it's going to just rise even faster than it already is. So it's going to stretch out vertically. And then a vertical shrink is where you multiply the whole function by a number between 0 and 1. So like 1 third. So this one, now this is a decay but it's going to kind of be more flat. It's going to flatten out that curve. And then reflect over the x-axis. You multiply by a negative 1. So that's here, this negative 2. Now remember I said b has to be greater than 1. And my b still is greater than 1. This is just a negative 1 times 2 to the x power. And we have just simplified negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So our b is still greater than 1. And this is going to flip it over the x-axis. So now it's going to be going down like that. All right, so let's look at these examples. Write the transformation for each equation. All right, so here is my b to the x. It's a growth function. And we have done two transformations. We've multiplied it by 6. So that's going to be a vertical stretch because it's a number greater than 1, which means it's just going to stretch out and grow really fast. And then we've subtracted 3 from the end. That's going to move it down 3. All right, here is my functional number 2, 5 to the x. Don't let that parentheses throw you off. That's a more common way to write it. So this is just the same thing as this. But that parentheses is just kind of a simplified way to write it. So the only thing we've done here is multiplied it by 1 half. That's going to be a vertical shrink which just means it's not going to rise quite as fast. It's going to kind of flatten out. All right, number three, we have 4 to the x power. This is our growth function. We've subtracted 3 from the exponent of x, so that's going to be here. When you subtract from the exponent, that moves it right 3. And then we've added 8 to the very end. That moves it up 8. All right, pause the video and try the last three by yourself. All 
All right, let's see how we did. So number four, here is our function two to the x. It may help if you circle that first, and then you can see what else is added to it. So I have that one third out front. That's gonna be a vertical shrink because it's less than one. And then I added six to the exponent. That's gonna move it left six. All right, number five, here's our function two to the x power. So I have that five out front, that's a vertical stretch. I subtracted one from the exponent, that moves it right one. And then I added nine at the end, that moves it up nine. All right, the last one here's our function, one half to the x power. So I have a negative out front, that's gonna reflect it over the x axis which just means it's gonna flip down. And then I'm subtracting 12 from the end, that's gonna move it down 12. All right, you can go ahead and complete your practice now. These are similar to the ones we've done before, but now you have an added question of what are the transformations.